I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. On the command of Johnny Yahana in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Run. Retract his words. Go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him. So this, this, this is Nick Cannon in the Bible. Right now, we're gonna we're gonna read about a rich man who heard Christ speaking and he loved the truth. Just like right now, we are we are we are out here speaking the truth. And say somebody rich came by. Let's say let's say Drake came by and Drake liked what we was talking about. So he came to us. This is the same thing with um, with Nick Cannon. Go ahead. 
and said unto him, Good master, what thing shall I do that I might have eternal life? This young man, this young man came to Christ. This young rich man came to Christ and said, Good master, what can I do? What, what can I do for eternal life? What can I do? Go in. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? And the brother said, why, and, and Christ said, first of all, why call him me good? Christ was humble, man. Christ was a man that was sent and, and was doing many miracles. But anytime anyone gave his praise, gave, gave him praise and glory, he said, don't call me good. Right. There's only one good, which is God. Right. Go ahead. There is none good but what? There is none good but one. That's what Christ said. Christ was a humble brother, man. He knew, he knew his powers and his works came from God. That's what he knew, man. Go ahead. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. So first of all, he told the young man, this young rich man, he said, this young rich man asked Christ, how can I get into the, how can I enter into the kingdom of heaven? Christ said, first of all, you gotta keep the commandments, man. First of all, you gotta stop sinning. You cannot, you cannot smoke, you cannot get high. You cannot mess with whores. You cannot eat pork, crab, shrimp, or lobster. You gotta follow the commandments, man. What else did Christ tell this young rich man? Go ahead. He said unto him, which Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So Christ ran, Christ ran out of commandments. He said, if you want to enter, if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, young man, you cannot be a murderer. What, did, what else did Christ say? Go ahead. Thou shalt not steal. You cannot steal, man. You cannot be a thief. Do not steal from your brother, man. Go ahead. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Don't bear false witness. Don't lie your brother and frame your brother, man. Go ahead. Don't steal his woman, man. Go ahead. Honor thy father and thy mother. And honor your father and your mother. Take care of your mother and your father in their old age like they, like they took care of you when you was born. But they changed your diaper, like they got you dressed and washed you up. Now that your parents are old, you gotta change your parents' diaper. You gotta wash your parents up. You gotta make sure they clean. You gotta make sure they eat until the day they die. That's what Christ told this rich young man. Go in. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And you gotta love your neighbor as yourself. Meaning what? You gotta love your brother as yourself, man. That's right. And a rich man cannot do that. You know why? A rich man can, a rich man could have 10, could be a millionaire. A rich man can have $10 million, $20 million. He got a deal to make more millions. He loses it. He cannot be satisfied with the millions that's already in, in, in his account. He got to sell out for future millions, man. For millions he think that's coming in the future, man. He's not satisfied with those millions he already, he already has in his account. You got to think about it. You got you got to think you got to think about a rich man. You got to think about think 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 about a, think about it. why Nick Cannon one day will tell the truth and say black and say black people are the true are, are the true Hebrews, but then the next day will retract his words and apologize and now have interviews with somebody who's not even a Jew that's calling themselves a Jew man. Let's find out why he did that. Go ahead and read the book of Matthew chapter nineteen verse twenty. The young man said it to him. All these things have I kept from my youth up. So a young, a, a young rich man came to Christ and asked Christ, how can I get into the kingdom of heaven? And Christ told the young rich man, first of all, you got to follow the commandments of God. You cannot be a sinner. And a young rich man, imagine the canon telling Christ, what? Read, read, read what the rich man said. All these things have I kept from my youth up. All these things I've been doing for my youth. The, rich, the young rich man asked Christ, how do I get the kingdom of heaven? Christ said, don't sin. The, young, the, the rich man said, since I was a child, I have not been sinning. Since I was a child, I've been taught the laws and the statutes of God, and I've been keeping them. Read on. What like I yet? Jesus said unto him, if thou will be perfect. Right. So now Christ, so now Christ turned it up, went up, went up another notch. Christ told this rich young man, if you want to get to the, the, the kingdom of heaven, this is, this is what else you got to do. You gotta, first, you got to follow the commandments of God. Now, what else do you have to do? Go ahead. If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor. Right. So now Christ told this rich man, if you want to be perfect, go, you, you, are, you, say you, you, you already said you are not a sinner. 
Now go and sell all your precious belongings, which is hard for somebody that's rich. Imagine somebody like us that has nothing, but a, a millionaire, a millionaire, now has to sell all his riches, and Christ told him, look, sell everything you got and give it to the poor. That rich man will look at Christ like he's stupid. That rich man will look at Christ like he's an idiot. You know why? Because that rich man loves his riches and his possessions more than his brother. More, more, than, more than him entering the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead and read. And thou hast treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Right, you're going to have treasure in heaven, man. If you if you if you a rich man, you you stop sinning, and you and you now support and now you give your riches to the poor, surely you're gonna enter the kingdom of heaven. But it is hard for a rich man to do. Why? Because he loves his riches more than his own people, man. And that and that that was a hard lesson Nick Cannon. Nick, it was a lesson that Nick Cannon learned. He learned Nick Cannon. You cannot be lukewarm in the truth. Nick Cannon, if, if you want if you want to stop becoming aware of the truth and start using your big platform to tell the truth, you cannot retract your words. You gotta go all the way in. You gotta, be, you gotta go hard in the paint, brother. You cannot retract, you cannot take back your words and now, and now, try, to, and now try to get Wild and Out back. You can make another show, or you can buy Wild and Out out. Go ahead and read. But when the young man heard that saying, when the young man heard Christ, when the, young man, when the rich young man heard Christ tell him, sell all your belongings. What did that rich man do? Did the, did the rich man listen to Christ or what did he do? He went away sorrowful. He went away sorrowful. You know why? Because he loved his money more than he loved his own damn people. And he loved his money more than he loved his damn riches, man. That is, that is what you call a sellout. That is what Steve Harvey is. That is what Nick Cannon is, man. That, 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 is what, oh, that's what, that is what Eddie Long is. A lot, a lot of black people one of, a lot of black people and black leaders want to speak up and tell the truth, but they are too afraid that they will stop getting money. Oprah Winfrey, all of them, man. They, they are afraid that they will lose their money. But, when they, but, but it's like, damn, you're already a millionaire. If Oprah Winfrey, if, say, say if Oprah, Oprah Winfrey had a new contract, or Nick Cannon has a new contract for a new show, you already have millions in your bank account. Are you not, can you not live lavishly? Can you not still live? Hell yeah, you can still live. You have not become selfish, man. And I understand building a legacy and building an empire, but damn, ain't you, are, are, are your lives and the lives of your people more important or your money? Nick Cannon stepped down and walked with the Black Lives Matter. A lot of people seen Nick Cannon being, trying try to stand up and trying to talk that black talk. And try, to, and try to talk about the equalities in America for the black man. But when it came to losing Wild and Out, that was it. That was it. He said, you know what, look, maybe, 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 I, maybe gotta, I gotta rethink this black thing. Maybe, gotta, maybe gotta take, he gotta take that weak head wrap off his head now, man. Right. Where you at? Go ahead, go ahead. For he had great possessions. For he, had great, for he had great possessions. Now, black man, if you want to stand up for your people, you gotta go all. You gotta go hard and go all the way, and you cannot be selfish, even in the face of death. Today, today we're gonna read about men that stood up in the face of death, man. First, we're gonna read about Moses. Give me Exodus. Give me Exodus chapter nine, verse one. You got. You got. Listen. Mo Moses, Moses was in the same predicament. Moses what? Moses grew up living in Pharaoh's, in Pharaoh's palace, man. Moses grew up rich with the Pharaoh who ran Egypt and was very rich. But guess what Moses did? Moses got a body there. Moses left the riches for his people, man. And Moses came back to the face of Pharaoh and told him to let my people go. Moses was, Moses was hardcore. Moses ain't care about losing and losing no money. Because the lives of, of his people were more important, man. This Bible is full of, uh, full of brave men. And guess what? If Moses didn't stand up, Moses would not be in the Bible. If Christ did not stand up, and Christ, if Christ sold out, Christ would be known as a sellout. Or Christ, we wouldn't even know who Christ was. But these men stood in the face of death. And now that story, that story is, is centuries old. 
Their story and their, and their history and their works are centuries, centuries old, man. And the ISUBK, we follow after those men. So our work could be centuries old, man. Black man, if you say, if you tired of this hellhole called America, and you tired, and, and it's time for you to build up a black kingdom and Latino kingdom, this is a spot right here. Your works will be known forever when you're doing the work of the Lord. Go in. The book of Exodus, chapter nine. Verse one. Then the Lord said unto Moses, go into Pharaoh. The Lord, the Lord sent Moses to Pharaoh, a rich man. What did God tell Moses to do? Go ahead. And tell him, thou said the Lord God of the Hebrew. Don't tell Moses. A black, a black man. Go walk, go walk up, go walk up to the white man. Go walk up to Donald Trump. Go walk up to any presidents, any any the people in the CIA and the FBI. Go and tell the white man what? Go ahead. Let my people go. Let my people go, man. Go and let my people go, man. Moses, Moses was a hardcore brother. Moses had Mo, Moses had carriage. For, for, for you to walk up, you gotta understand, for you to walk up in Donald Trump's face, or the president's face, or any 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 of our oppressors, and you know that these people are these people are treating us wrong, and tell them to let our pe let my people go. You are a hell of a brother, and not every man can do that. That's why Moses is so, so special, and that's why he got a spot in the Bible. He got in a spot, and he got a spot in the Bible for his carriage and for him, and him obeying God's orders, man. Go ahead. That they may serve me. That they may serve me, man. Black man, we gotta take our spirit and our love from America, man. If we don't do that, we will continue to be killed and have no justice. If we do not take our love and follow God, we will continue to be poor. We will continue to be the people who will be mocked and made fun of and have no justice. We will continue to be kicked out of our homes and, and, and have gentrification all over D.C., Maryland, Chicago, every every black city in ghetto USA. If you do not stand up and take your love from America and realize that he, this person, is a damn animal, you will continue to be murdered and treated and have no respect and have no justice, man. Go ahead. Give me, for, give me first Samuels chapter 17 to 26, man. We're gonna read about more, more, more courageous prophets and more courageous brothers in the Bible, man. Why? Because in America, we are led by too many cowards in America, man. Steve Harvey, a damn coward. Right. Nick Cannon, who seems seemed like he was getting stronger and stronger. This week we find out he was a coward. That's what you gotta understand, man. And you gotta, you, it, it's a certain price. It's a certain price, man. That's what you gotta understand. All these men, all, all these men will talk that black talk and seem strong and seem puffed up until you feel like, oh, I'm gonna lose my show. Then you say, oh, forget black people, man. Nick Cannon took all that Black Lives Matter stuff over and threw it in the trash. He went right to white, right to white man and was like, oh, we're gonna have a conversation. He gave the earth to the white man. And it, and, it, and, it guess, and it seemed like Nick Cannon was getting stronger and stronger. It seemed like he was on or something. Now look, the white man take one show from you. You're already a millionaire. But the white man take one show from you. Now you're going, you're going back to cry the master. And guess what? Pete Diddy, Pete Diddy, who was a billionaire, Pete Diddy said, look, Nick, I got you. That was strength. For, Nick, for, for Pete Diddy to go on Twitter and say, look, come to us, for us, by us, we go, I'm, I'm standing with you. That's some, that's some strength. That's some strength, man. Listen, man, go ahead. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 26. And David spake to the men that stood by him. This is, a, this, this is, a, this is, another, this is another strong man. Every, every, everybody knows Everybody knows the story of David and Goliath. You gotta understand what David stood up against the Goliath. Goliath was Goliath was a strong soldier who was experienced in war. Goliath wasn't just some South African. He was a eight. He was a nine foot tall brother, tall foot tall uh, Hamite, a man experienced in war. And here comes David, who was a young boy, 
and he said he was gonna fight, he said he was gonna fight Goliath, this giant. Go ahead. Say, what shall be done to the man that killeth the Philistine? So now, so now David is asking, what, 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 is the, what is the reward for killing Goliath? Because Goliath was threatening the children of God. And the king said, and the king said, whoever could kill Goliath, I'm gonna give you riches and give you my daughter to marry. If you could kill this, if, if you could kill this Goliath, because he is threatening to take us as our as his slaves. Go ahead. And take him away to reproach from Israel. For who is the circumcised Philistine? Right. So David, listen up. David said, Who is this Philistine? Who is Goliath? Who is he? Go ahead. It's the uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God. Who is he that he should defy the living, the living, the, the armies of the who? Living God. The armies of who? Living God. The armies of the living God, man. You gotta understand, black man. The Lord, the Lord chose you to be His people. He, the, the same God that bring earthquake and hurricane. The same God that's the, the same God that's plaguing the earth with COVID-19. The same God that brings plagues and famine and sicknesses. The Zika virus, Ebola, all these sicknesses, that is, that is also a God that can protect you. That is also the God that, who is on your side if you obey him, man. Right. And David knew that he, that he David knew that God is a living God, and he's saying, who the hell is Goliath? Who the hell, who the hell, who the hell is he that he shall stand against the people of the living God? David was a young, David was a courageous brother. And today, and today, I got to speak about courageous brothers because we're we're hearing about too many cowards, man. Right. And we are we are, we are being led by too many cowards. Moses was a strong man. He stood up against Pharaoh. That's right. David was a strong a strong young boy and stood up against a giant who was experienced in war and had strength. But he knew the a living God was on his side, so he had no worries, man. If you wanna, if you wanna be like Moses or David, or if you wanna be like Christ, you gotta know that there's a living God on your side, and you gotta, and you cannot be bought by any price, and you cannot be shook by anything. No, nothing can shake you. Should be able to shake you, man. You cannot. You gotta walk this earth fearing nothing but God, man. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.